good morning in today's video i am presenting social studies for class 5 on lesson parallels and meridians shape of our earth our earth is spherical in shape and it is slightly flattened at the poles earth rotates around itself on an imaginary line called the axis which has two end points called the poles north pole at the top and south pole in the bottom equator equator is the imaginary circular line on the globe that runs midway between the north pole and the south pole it divides the globe into two equal halves equator is the longest and the most important latitude parallels these are the set of imaginary circles drawn on the surface of the globe all the parallel circles from equator to the poles are called parallels of latitudes latitudes are measured in degrees the half of the earth that lies to the north of equator is called the northern hemisphere and the half of the earth that lies to the south of the equator is called the southern hemisphere characteristics of latitudes latitudes are complete circles except north and south poles which are points the length of the latitudes decreases from the equator towards the poles latitudes are at equal distance from one another and they do not touch or cut with one another measuring of latitudes measuring of latitudes start from equator which represents 0 degree latitude north pole is marked as 90 degrees n and south pole as 90 degree s other parallels are marked from 0 to 90 degrees the parallels that are to the north of equator are marked n and those to the south are marked s the distance between each parallel is 1 degree there are 90 latitudes in the northern hemisphere and 90 in the southern hemisphere altogether there are 181 latitudes including equator important parallels of latitudes there are four important latitudes besides equator 90 degree north and 90 degree south these are tropic of cancer at 23 and a half degree north tropic of capricorn 23 and a half degree south arctic circle 66 and a half degree north and antarctic circle 66 and a half degree south meridians of longitudes these are the imaginary lines running from north pole to south pole the distance between the meridians is measured in characteristics of meridians all the meridians are of same length the distance between two meridians is maximum at equator and it decreases from equator towards poles all the meridians meet at the poles meridians cut the parallels at right angles that is 90 degrees measuring meridians the meridian that passes through greenwich is known as the prime meridian and its value is 0 degrees Greenwich is the place near London where the British Royal Observatory is located. Longitudes are measured 180 degree east or west from prime meridian. There are 180 longitudes to the east of prime meridian and 180 to the west of prime meridian. There are 360 longitudes in all. Meridians towards the east are represented with E. and those to the west are marked with w the 180 degrees east and 180 degrees west meridians are the same line locating places with parallels and meridians latitudes and longitudes form a network of lines on the globe which is called a grid any place on the earth can be located with the help of the grid to know the location of a place we should know the values of the latitude north or south direction and the longitude to the east or west direction 
the point where the latitude and longitude intersect that is cut each other is the location of the place for example new delhi is located at 28 degree north latitude and 77 degree east longitude so the point on a globe or map where these two meet is the location of new delhi thank you and have a wonderful day